Former manager of the Y-12 plant, Gordon Fee, reflects on Oak Ridge's role during the nuclear era. We all know the genie's out of the bottle, uh, but so much good has come out of the nuclear era that was born here. Nuclear era was born here. Ruth Huddleston was a Calutron girl at the Y-12 plant during the Manhattan Project. Ruth was never told what she was producing, but learned to calibrate the Calutrons, which were machines that electromagnetically separated the uranium isotopes for the atomic bomb. When I got cleared, you know, to go to work, well, they took us to this room, and it was filled with what we call cubicles, and that was a big uh, apparatus. It was metal, had all kinds of gauges and meters and all that that you had to learn to operate. And then they told us when it got out of hand, if it went over too far to the right, we had to adjust it to get it back where it, you know it's supposed to be. If it went too far to the left, we had to adjust it. If anybody asked you what you did over there, we just I never did answer them, really. Because I didn't know, really. Denise Kiernan, author of the best-selling book, The Girls of Atomic City, describes Oak Ridger's reactions to the end of World War II and their work's powerful legacy. You know, it was a very, very difficult moment because if you... If you see pictures of the end of World War II, you see, you know, sailors kissing girls in Times Square and everybody saying, you know, hooray. And, and people in Oak Ridge, you know, were happy that the war was over too. Everybody was happy that the war was over. But they had this added issue that they had been a part of something that was quite interesting and quite different and quite significant. And being a part of that, you know, was, you know, some people were, you know, proud that they'd made a contribution to help the war effort. Then people started to, you know, some people I talked to said they started to have concerns about like, well, you know, am I okay? Is there, you know, what is this stuff called radiation? Because then there was this whole new language people had to get used to. You know, the phrase radiation sickness hadn't existed, you know, really in the common, in the common language. And now this was something people heard about. And, and um, people were talking, started eventually after a few months, they started hearing about, you know, this strange cancer in Japan where the people had been bombed. That's what some of them referred to it as, this kind of, what, you know, what is that? And then so, so much information came out really after August 6th. You know, August 6th was just the, be, the beginning of understanding of what the bombing was. And then there was more information. It continues to affect our lives. You know, it affects our economics. It affects our politics, the way we relate to other countries. Um, you know, nuclear medicine has become a staple in every hospital in the world, you know. So nuclear medicine, nuclear energy, nuclear weapons, all of that, you know, goes back to Oak Ridge. All of that goes back to 18-year-old girls sitting in front of panels, you know, turning knobs and, and, and flipping switches.